Hello, this is Mr. Wahlberg. I'm here to tell you and teach you a little bit about the graduated cylinder and the triple beam balance. Uh, let's first start with the graduated cylinder. I have already put some water in there. I'm attempting to show you uh, what's called a meniscus. If I get a close-up view here of the uh, graduated cylinder, you're going to notice that the, the water, if you can tell in the video, kind of bows a little bit. It's not a flat, straight uh, line, so you have to keep that in account when you are trying to measure something. Uh, notice uh, if I uh, look at the numbers going from the bottom 10 all the way up to the top, it is 100 milliliters. So uh, I am uh, in between the 60 and 70, and I have to obviously count how many that is. Uh, if you see my finger here, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. Uh, you have to take into account, though, I am uh, at the eye level of the graduated cylinder. Don't be up here looking at it. Don't be down here looking at it. Uh, you're going to kind of see that bow, by the way, I was just talking about on the meniscus. So keep that in mind when you are measuring it. I'm going to put that just below the 65, so I'd probably call that 64.5 milliliters. Uh, moving on to the triple beam balance. This measures in grams. We talked about that in class yesterday. Um, you'll notice uh, we have 0 through 10 on the uh, front. The middle goes by hundreds, all the way up to 500 grams and the back goes by uh, 10 grams. Uh, I brought my remote here. I'm going to put that on. I want to know how much mass that remote has. I've got to first move um, the hundreds and see if I can get this to balance. Obviously that went way down below the zero here to balance, so I know it's less than 100 grams. By the way, see those little grooves? Make sure you're in the groove each time when you slide these around. So I'm going to go back to zero because that was too much. So I'm going to now go to the back. Go over, let's try 50. We're still above the zero, so that means we're not balanced. Still above uh, the zero. And uh, let's try 90. Oh, we went down, so I want to go back to the 80 grams. Uh, 70, so we're still above. That's good. We're going to slide this little guy. Sorry, I'm trying to look around here. Slide this guy around until... Uh, it balances out. Notice this thing is starting to move. We have gone slightly over, so I'm going to come back and uh, try to balance that out a little more. And it's going to balance out here in a second. We're doing pretty well. You then, we see we have the zero there. We have 70. And then in the metric systems, everything that is, remember, in decimals. I'm going to call that 74, and I'll call that point 6 by the time that balances out. So my answer here for the remote would be 74.6 grams. Hope you learned something.